For this dysfunction, I'm going to talk to you about something known as an FRS left. So what that means is it's a vertebra, and I'm going to say L5 is fixed in a flexion position. So it'll be a flexion rotation side bending, so FRS, on the left hand side. But basically, it will be the right facet joint of L5S1, which will be this one here, that will be in a open position. Now, if I run through a basic assessment of that in terms of palpation, if we find the PSIS, and that will take us on to approximately S2, and I find the iliac crest, and I'll take us on to L4. So obviously, if I come up one and down one, I'm going to be on roughly L5, S1. So my thumb or finger here is going to be on the LS junction, so the lumbar sacral junction. And what we're going to do is, if I find the L5, you're not going to be on the transverse process, okay? It's just an awareness for the position. And I come across an inch or so lateral, or 2.5 centimeter, let my thumb sink in. For the demonstration, I'm going to say that the right side appears deeper than the left side appears shallow. If I get my patient just to rotate his pelvis this way, posteriorly, okay, and now I come and test, then I notice that my thumbs become more level because they're happy to flex. But if I said to my patient to slowly come up onto the elbows, like you read in a book, please, and now I was to palpate, Okay, for the demonstration, I'm going to say that the right side stays deeper in here. So what that means is, as he's trying to extend, if that right side cannot close, go back down, then it will stay deep on that side. So the correction is quite straightforward, because what we can do, because extension naturally tries to close the facet, and because the right side is more open compared to the left side, even though the left is still open, but the right side is more open. If I get you to come up into your elbows again, please. Okay. And then for the treatment, I would find the TP on that side, even though I'm not going to be directly on it. And you can simply apply pressure, almost like a trigger point technique. Apply one thumb on the other thumb and slowly go towards the couch where you're trying to approximate the L5 and S1 facet on the right side. If you find the pressure is too much, okay, because it's hard to say exactly how long you hold it for, okay, but in terms of the time, I'd go for about 20 to 25 seconds. If you struggle with the thumb, find the electron of the elbow, find the level, and just slowly apply pressure onto the area in here, okay, and again, hold for about 20 to 25 seconds. So the idea is that I'm trying to approximate the right facet joint, and it's fixed in a FRS to the left. When the patient goes back down again, lie back down, you would then run through your re-evaluation to see if the position has changed. Thank you for watching.